Welcome to week 21 of the Kid and Parent Pregnancy Show. I'm Asha. Pregnancy brings a lot of joy and new discoveries. You are at the center of creation and still oblivious to it. Books in the window to take a peek and know what is happening in your body. In this show, we will provide a guide of books to read during your pregnancy. We will also explore the reasons behind fatigue and ways to overcome it. Changes taking place in mother. This is a good period. You're mostly past the morning sickness and other discomforts of early pregnancy. And you are still away from the increased heaviness and other discomforts of the third trimester. Use this time to take as much as rest as you can. You may suffer from leg aches starting this week and throughout the rest of the pregnancy. Maternity support holes prevent swelling and varicose veins by encouraging blood circulation throughout the legs. Keeping your legs raised when you are seated is a good choice. You may get some of the symptoms that you faced earlier. Tip of the week You can choose two baby names, one for a girl and one for a boy. This will come handy after childbirth. How is baby doing? His digestive system is capable of absorbing nutrients from the amniotic fluid. Small amount of sugars are absorbed from the amniotic fluid that is swallowed by your baby. His nervous system and organs continue developing. Fat layers are formed on his hardened bones. His bone marrow spaces are developed considerably. They are the major source of producing blood cells in the third trimester and after delivery. Your baby can move about freely but he will soon settle with his head downwards. He will stay that way until birth. Can I use a car seat belt during pregnancy? You should wear seat belt at all times while traveling in the car. You must place the belt properly. Lower part should be worn below the belly and the shoulder part should be worn regularly. You can adjust the belt as required to make it more comfortable rather than avoiding it. Fatigue during pregnancy Fatigue or tiredness is very common during pregnancy. Increased body weight, deficiency of iron levels in your body, dehydration, increased levels of progesterone, morning sickness or nausea, disturbed sleep due to frequent urination are the main reasons behind fatigue. If you find that fatigue becomes intense or lasts throughout pregnancy, contact your doctor immediately. Tips to prevent fatigue Check the iron levels in your blood. Maintain a healthy, balanced diet. Take rest of short intervals in between work. Sometimes 10 minutes of abdominal breathing with your feet up can be as good as a long nap. Avoid getting dehydrated due to the consumption of less liquids. Try exercises such as walking and abdominal breathing to boost your energy levels and increase your stamina. Avoid eating junk food. These contain less nutrients and make you feel tired. Eating several small healthy meals during the day prevents tiredness caused by lack of nutrition. Request your family members to help you with the household chores. Try going to bed earlier than your usual time. Books to read during pregnancy Many leading bookstores such as Odyssey, Landmark, Higginbottoms have books and CDs sorted by category. This makes it easy for you to walk into their pregnancy section and check out what they have to offer. Some websites also have ebooks that you can download and read whenever you wish to. Some books come along with CDs that have more illustrations about the topics covered in the books. Here is a list of books you might find interesting during pregnancy.
Books by Indian Authors Pregnancy The Complete Childbirth Book by Nuthan Pandit Step-by-Step -step Pregnancy Survival Manual and Guide by Prabha Malhotra This book comes along with an illustrated CD. Pregnancy From Conception to Birth by M. R. Lokeshwar Passport to a Healthy Pregnancy by Dr. Geeta Arjun Pregnancy and Childbirth by Parthasarathy G. Books by Foreign Authors What to Expect When You Are Expecting by Heidi E. Makoff, Aldine Eisenberg and Sandy E. Hathaway The Mother of All Pregnancy Books the Ultimate Guide to Conception, Birth, and Everything in Between by Anne Douglas. The Pregnancy Journal by A. Christine Harris, PhD. Pregnancy Do's and Don'ts by Elizabeth Aaron, MD. The Pregnancy Book by William Sears, MD, and Martha Sears, RN. A Doctor's Guide to Pregnancy by Dr. Rachel Donaldson. The Working Women's Pregnancy Book by Marjorie Greenfield Dr. Spock's Pregnancy Guide Taking Charge Parenting Take Charge Dr. Spock's Pregnancy Guide Take Charge Parenting Guides by Marjorie Greenfield Pregnancy for Dummies by Joanne Stone MD Do you know? Your baby may be more active at night and he might keep you awake with his kicks. Have a nice week with this wonderful thought by Lawrence Hosman. If nature had arranged that husbands and wives should have children alternatively, there would never be more than three in a family.